Hi, this is Dr. Don. We've had some questions about how to customize the axis labels of a chart. So I want to walk you through some ways you can do that. Now here we've got a table of data. It's labeled the one terabyte solid state drive failure rate analysis. And we've got four models, just the simple name here, one, two, three, and four, the number of uh, attempts in that particular uh, trial of the test, 3,000 each, 68 failed, which gives us a percentage of 2.27. So let's create our basic chart. I'm going to click on model and drag down to select my four basic model types. Hold the control key, select count to get those, and then drag it over to get the percent fail. Now I've got the data I want, insert recommended chart, Excel's pretty smart. It knows I want this combo chart. So here is my basic combo chart. Now this is what uh, I've been asked, you know, that we had just put simple one, two, three, four in here. We wanted to show the model name. Now their way that you can do this is first of all, to find out where does this data come from? If I click inside the chart, then you can see over here the ranges We've got this in light purple that shows a one, two, three, four. So I suspect that's where those come from. And then it's got the counts of fail. If you look closely, you can see that's outlined in red or orange. So that is probably the uh, legend titles down here. And then we've got in blue these ranges of the counts and the percent fail. So you can probably guess what you should edit there for the axis labels, but to be sure what you should do is right click in that area, select data. And then we get the dialog box and it shows us the three ranges there for our data points over here, the, the counts and the percent fail. We can edit those and it shows precisely where they come from. And this is a hint there. You can see it gives us a series name, which is what it's using down in that legend but I want to change the horizontal axis labels and you click on edit there and then it shows you over here that's where it came from. So if we had a more elaborate naming scheme like I've got set up here, I could just change the range. So I'm going to click right there and delete that, put an equal and then I'm going to go over here and select these more complicated names. And then just hit OK and OK. And now you can see that those are updated. Another thing you can do when you do that would be just to go in and edit these. If I go back here and let's say that was really the 1001, hit Enter and you can see it updates, so you can edit it that way. So I hope this is helpful. That's how you can customize your x-axis labels.